Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on creating weighted and unweighted averages using SPSS. So taking a look at these fictitious data I have loaded in the data view in SPSS, I have an ID variable and a program independent variable at three levels, individual, group, treatment as usual. And then I have five measurements, functioning, anxiety, depression, substance use, and relational difficulty. And first I'm going to demonstrate how to create an unweighted average, which is fairly straightforward to do in SPSS. So let's presume that these five dependent variables are all recorded here with a T-score. A T-score is a standardized score with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. And that for anxiety, depression, substance use, and relational difficulty, the higher the score, the more severity we have with the symptoms. So in the case of depression, higher score represents higher severity of depression. With relational difficulty, a higher score represents more difficulty in relationships. The functioning dependent variable, the functioning measure, would work in the opposite fashion. A higher functioning score would indicate that the participant was functioning at a higher level. So to create this first average, uh, unweighted average, I'm just going to use anxiety through relational difficulty, these four dependent variables. And I'm going to go into transform and use the compute variable function. And this is what the dialog looks like by default. And we'll just call this one, this target variable, mean. And there are a few ways uh, we can compute this in the numeric expression. Of course, we could add all four values together and divide by four. Or we could go to the function group under statistical and use the mean function. If we double click this, you can see mean comes up and we just load in the variables we want to include in the calculation. So anxiety, then a comma, depression, a comma, substance use, and then relational difficulty. If we click OK, and we see we have the mean. So you might notice there's two digits expressed here to the right of the decimal, whereas for these four variables, those are not visible. But if you look up here in the top left, you can see the actual value. Uh, the, the real value is there. So in this case, it says 41 for record one, but it's actually 40.89 and a lot of other digits here. It's just rounded up. And so mean here uh, by default is a newly created variable is set to displaying two digits to the right of the decimal. So this value is an unweighted average. So anxiety, depression, substance use, and relational difficulty are all factored in equally when determining this mean, which in many cases is useful and what we would want to produce. But however, in some cases, we want to create a weighted average. So let's presume that these data come from a substance use disorder treatment facility. So perhaps this composite we want to create, in this case a weighted average, we want to really emphasize substance use, the substance use dependent variable. And we want this composite to include anxiety, depression, and relational difficulty, but not to the same degree, right? not at the same weight as substance use. So let's say that we determine that we want of this composite score, we want substance use to represent 40% of that value and anxiety, depression, and relation of difficulty to represent 20%. All right, so going to transform compute variable, you can see this is the expression we had before. So I'm going to change this to uh, weighted 
average as a target variable and clear this out. And the way we would create this weighted average that I'm talking about here with the substance use having 40%, or representing 40% of the weighted average, we would, well, I would start with the parenthesis, open parenthesis, and move over anxiety. And then you see the third button down here on the left, that's for multiply. Multiply that by 0 0.2. And then I'm gonna add, which is this button here in the top left, depression. Again, I'm gonna put this uh, expression in parentheses. Multiply that by 0.2, and then add substance use. Now this one, we want to have a different weight. We want it to be 0.4 or 40 percent. So it'll be 0.4, and then of course we'll add in relational difficulty and multiply that by 0.2. Now it's important to keep in mind here that these values, what we're multiplying different variables by, the values that we're multiplying the variables by, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and 0.2, must always add up to 1. So if we wanted to reduce the weight for relational difficulty from 0.2 to 0.1, we would need to add 0.1 across these variables. Now we could put it all on one variable. We could put it on just say anxiety, so change anxiety to 0.3, or we could spread it across, but that 0.1 would have to be accounted for. So at this point, we're ready to calculate the weighted average. So we have all the values in, and all the values are multiplying the variables by add up to one, so we'll click OK. You can see there's the code for this particular weighted average calculation. And we can see now we have the weighted average with a real emphasis here on substance use, right? 40% of this weighted average is assigned to substance use and only 20% to the other variables. So we're gonna expect this weighted average to be more affected by movement in substance use than in any of the other variables. So an example of the effect that this creates that's a little easier to see if we move down here to record 26. You can see anxiety 64, depression 67, relational difficulty 62, and substance use 34. So substance use here really kind of standing out as a low score in comparison to the other three. So with a uh, mean, an unweighted average, we have 56.58, but weighting the average by putting the heavier weight on substance use, you can see that this drags the score down further. So instead of 56.58, it's 52, because substance use is having a greater effect on this value. I hope you found this video on creating weighted and unweighted averages in SPSS to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.